Hey guys, good morning. It's Heather and today is the rainy, soggy December 17th day. So today's mother-daughter day and Emily is going to be heading over here in a little bit and we are going to head out and just run around a little bit. Nothing really major that we have to do today, but I may try taking my camera and just seeing what kind of footage we get. Just gonna run a couple little places and have some lunch, I think, um, but it is an absolute soggy mess outside, but the temperatures are supposed to drop again tonight. I wish we could figure out what the temperature is going to be because the last two nights in a row, I have slept so hot. And they, we have that Nest thermostat that does like the heat and cool, it keeps it at a certain degree, and I'm still sleeping hot. Most nights I go to bed and I'm freezing all night long. So, but I put that heated blanket on my bed and even when I don't turn it on, it's that extra layer. And I told my husband, maybe maybe I should just take it off until maybe January. He said, no, it's supposed to get below freezing tonight. So let's start with my Trader Joe's 12 Days of Beauty. Today would be the sixth day. Big box here, it looks like. Oh, it is a charcoal face mask, a peel off charcoal face mask. Very cool. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to open up my rocks box. Now I am going to pause my rocks box. Did I did that right? I did. Um, after, you know, as I've already paid the $20, $21 for this month, I forgot to pause it. I am going to pause it after this one when I get this one sent back and just take a little break because I've gotten so much jewelry here recently. Um, I wasn't super, I did, I don't think, I, I may have changed one thing. But I didn't put a lot of thought into it this time. So my bow is come undone. But here is my rocks box. It is $21 a month. The $21 goes to your first purchase within your rocks box. Um, and then you can, you know, I get credits and whatever. And I don't think I have any credits right now. I think right now I'm just kind of, I've spent it all. Yep, I have spent it all. All right, let me pull my little invoice out. All right, I've got two pairs of earrings and a necklace. Here's my little pouch, my little return mailer that you just stick right back up on that bubble mailer, and that's that. And put it back in the coat in your... I don't have to take it anywhere. It fits in my mailbox, which is really nice. All three pieces are Rocks Box bags, so I will I'll have to tell you what they are as I pull them out. Okay, these are tiny... These are Sophie Harper Delicate Huggies with tiny pearls and silver. Okay. Tiny, 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 like tinier than the last set that I said were too small. So I don't even think I'm going to try them on just because I don't want to have to go through all that. But they're just a little too tiny for what I'm looking for. These are retail price $50 and member price is $42. So, I mean, they're cute, but they look young to me. So those are going to be a no. Let's see what's in this bag. Here is the Ava Rose. All right, so this is, let me pull them both out because they kind of go together. I think that's why I did it. I, I saw the necklace, so I thought I'd get the earrings that I thought matched, but they don't. All right, here are the Ava Rose Aspen earrings in turquoise and lapis. They're pretty. They're in a, the gold metal. I have one of my mother's diamonds in today, so I was feeling my mom. It's been funny, the last couple of weeks, I see her, I feel her, I smell her everywhere. I, it's like I, it's like she's visiting me. I, I feel like she's here. And I know it's probably not healthy, but sometimes I pretend like she's still just living in North Carolina and I haven't talked to her in a minute. But I know that's not the case. I'm not gonna put the back on, I'm just gonna look. I like the blue, I think it's pretty. Um, and I like the turquoise, but it, the necklace does not go with it. The necklace is silver. It's the Ava, Ava Rose Riley necklace in silver and navy druzy. So I clearly did not pay attention when I was changing things up. That's a pretty blue, though. I, I mean, I really like the blue. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop this around my neck, even though I have my diamond on. And then I'm going to go take a look in the mirror. And then I will be right back, okay? 
All right, I just took a peek and I really like the blue of this necklace. They do not match these earrings. So the earrings are gonna be a no for sure. And I hopped on Roxbox's website and the only thing they have by Ava Rose that's got this navy blue druzy is in gold for earrings. And the necklace is in silver. So I would prefer it to have maybe a little stud or something that goes with this that gonna, is a matchy matchy type thing and I don't see it. So um, this one's gonna be a no, I'm not gonna keep, let me put my mama's, ooh, I almost dropped the back. Oh my goodness. These are those kinds that you have to pinch the back, they lock into place. There we go. So I'm not gonna keep anything from this box, this go around, which is fine. Um, not really in need of anything right now. So, at this point, I'm going to get this rocks box ready to go back. And I will pick up the camera when I'm out with Emily today as best as I can. And uh, see what kind of footage that we can get while we're out and about. All right, guys, I'm in the car with Emily. She was supposed to bring over some jambalaya for Adam and, gumbo. or uh, I'm sorry, gumbo for Adam and forgot. So we're going to add a little bit to our day, run back to her house and get it. He doesn't know we're going to get it. Yeah. And we'll take it back to him and make his morning. Because he does, he did seem a little bit bummed, didn't he? he did seem a little, <laughs> a little, I said, I'm sorry, Adam. He goes, it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> so, so we're going to head to her house. I don't even think we're going to rustle up the dogs, are we? You're just going to run in and grab it and go? Yeah. Just, okay. As long as I go through the front door, they don't even know I'm home. So. Okay. So we'll do that. And I think we're going to go to at home. And I, I thought we were going to Home Goods. That's what I meant. Home Goods. Ooh, Two words. different cities. Two different cities. What can I say? And I just lost the lens cap. Huh, gonna find that. And then we're going to grab some lunch and I need to get some stockings for Indigo. Stockings. Stocking stuffers for Indigo and Jax. You're gonna have to just deal with this flat, gross hair today. My frizzy flat hair today. Your hair looks good. Well, I had to throw half of it up because I knew that it was gonna be bad. But I don't have that ability. You physically can do it. Yeah, you don't want to see me like that. All right, guys, we will check in with you. I don't know that I'll carry around the, because this is a heavy camera. <laughs> so I'm not sure, and I don't have the little stick thing that I use at the house. But I'll carry you around a little bit, maybe. And if not, then we'll just show you what we bought. Okay? All right, we'll see you guys in a little bit. Yikes. Can't Okay, so we just got finished eating a little bit of lunch at the Mexican restaurant. Do you restaurant. see my face? No. I'm going to get him to pause it and look. No, I'll look at it in a minute. <laughs> so I had a taco salad and she ate part of a, a burrito. Burrito. A steak burrito. burrito. A steak burrito. And we are going to run over to Home uh, Goods because I keep calling it at home and she's like, that's not where we're no, going. No, but I keep calling it that too. <laughs> it's okay. So we're going to go walk around there and see what they have. The and pretties. some The pretties, yes. I ordered myself some towels off Amazon and they're pretty, typically I don't go for red for Christmas. I've always done like the blue and the champagnes and stuff. Well, this past Christmas because I've only done it once. Anyways, um, <laughs> so, but I went with red and I kept telling myself like, you don't want red. Red you poinsettias. Don't red. Yeah. <clears throat> and then I just ordered them and I was like, you know what? I can start incorporating a little bit of red. Well, you had the red poinsettias at your front door too. Yeah, that's why I started thinking, okay, it's okay if I have some red, because I do have red accents here and there. Right. But, yep. So we're just going to go see what we can find. We don't really have anything. I do want to cut a couple little, I'd like to get some pretty little serving bowls. I wanted some for the gender reveal party, and I couldn't find what I was looking for in my house. So, um, and now I'm going to have a whole bunch of storage in the dining room. Well, actually, I was supposed to have a hair appointment. They just called me today and said, you have a reminder to be your hair appointment tomorrow morning at 10 a.m. I'm like, no, the designer's coming tomorrow morning at 10 a.m. So I had to push my hair appointment to after Christmas, which is fine. I'm giving it a little extra time to, you know, not be destroyed. Um, but we're going to go look at that. And the, tomorrow is the designer coming in. And then we will place our order for our dining room. I'm so excited. I'm definitely more excited than Adam is. There's no doubt really? about it. Really? You don't say. <laughs> he loves decorating dining rooms. He likes putting his opinion. He says he doesn't. he's not an opinionated person. Okay. Adam has strong uh, opinions. He is he, a... But about certain things. He's not opinionated in the sense that he gets so opinionated about and opinionated about everything and then throws it down your throat. 
Right, right. Like, now, he's not one of those He likes those to people. have his opinion taken into effect. And we have very similar style. And we always, you know, since we've met, it's been almost nine years now, we definitely have a coexisting style. It's just, you know, when I walked into his apartment for the first time, I was highly impressed. I couldn't believe how well he had everything put together. It was very masculine. And when we moved in together, I made him let me feminize it a little bit. You know, obviously it has to be a woman's touch in there. But we definitely have the same style and furniture. What? If Connor, okay, let me just put this out there for y'all. If Connor <clears throat> lived on his own and I did not live with him. He'd have that green chair with the duct tape. He would live in a frat house. He wouldn't, he'd have like a futon. And he has one. Well, yeah, but that would be like the couch. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so it, things would be a lot different. There's a spot right there. That's what I'm going to. But I wasn't going to sit behind someone who was going to. We got a front row parking spot. How crazy is that? Back into it. Was it eight days to Christmas? Nine days to Christmas? What is it? The, Today is the 17th? The 17th, yeah. 18, 19, 20, 22, 23, 4, 5, 8 days. Mm -hmm. 8 days and I still haven't wrapped. All right. My stuff just got here. I'm like, <laughs> but I ordered it with plenty of time. I ordered most of mine in July. I mean, where's my. Oh, shoot. All right, guys, we'll check in in a little bit. So we went through Home Goods and I found nothing that I wanted. Emily found a million things she wanted, but bought nothing. So we <laughs> went over to. Yes, yeah, she's very proud of herself. We went over to Williams Sonoma and we left there with. I got. I have my secondary coffee maker is a um, barista. What's it called? Creatista. Breville Creatista. It takes these. This pod. I can't remember what it's called. But they had a peppermint bark and a holiday blend. So I got one of each of those and I got her, I'm not gonna unwrap it, a double walled glass coffee mug. She wants to drink wine out of it. It's got okay, a handle. Then. You can drink more wine and not drop it because you have a handle. It's a very thin glass too, so. No, yeah. I'll probably drink hot chocolate out of it. That's your hot chocolate you cup. Yeah, I don't have hot chocolate at my house though. So we are going to run into PetSmart. I need to get doggy stocking stuffers. So I've got a couple, but I'm gonna finish that up today. See you in a sec. So we went into PetSmart and I think that's where we did our most damage, or I did my most damage, but the stockings are gonna be hung by the chimney with care and Mama St. Nicholas will soon be there. Um, it's gonna be slapped full of all kinds of, I didn't get any plush toys, they've got plenty of those, but I got a couple little toys and mainly treats. Like those silicone Yeah, red. they're like gummy chews, I don't know, but anything I'm gonna do to keep my dog's teeth clean, I like to do, and that's what mainly I bought were things to keep their teeth clean. Yeah. Then we ran by the liquor store for wine. She's wanting some wine, so I actually bought her and I both a bottle and then she bought a couple other bottles. I'm not a big wine drinker. I'll drink it from time to time. I'm not a big drinker in general, but it was a pretty bottle. So we bought <laughs> it because of the pretty yeah. bottle. <laughs> we are headed back to my house now. It's um, 2.30, just about 2.30. We're sitting here talking about our New Year's resolutions and I've already told you what mine is, but she starts back to school um, uh, January 7th is her first class. And her news resolution is to kick butt and take names and do as well as I can in my classes so that I can make it through to the program. Make it through to the program. I believe in her. She's super smart. She's got this. So, hopefully. That's she's going to go to CrossFit tonight with her hubby. Yeah. And she's, she's got a secret date night that she's planned for her and her husband Friday night. Yes. He doesn't watch my vlog so I can say this, but she's taking him to an escape room on Friday night. We've been to an escape room before, but the, that one was in... Pitch and Forge, wasn't it? Something like that. Yeah, yeah, it was in a different state. And um, then that was the last time we've been, but he really, really enjoyed it. So there's one here and they have it and it's a it's a bank heist. And I thought that's gonna be the one he wants to do. I've looked into that, we just have never done it. Yeah, well, I I don't know. So I, I just went ahead and got the tickets for that and I was able to push it back in time because I had it for like 4.15 and we need to go at eight because we've got a safe coming um, the same day and it's supposed to be anywhere from like 11 to four. 
Hopefully they're gonna he gets show there up. at like 11. I mean, don't worry about it. Well, then I'm gonna be angry because then don't I can't be angry. go back and say 4:15. The reason I wanted to go before dinner is because then we're not rushing. Right. At dinner, you feel like you're rushing to get to, you know. But anyway, so we're gonna especially do on that. the Friday night, the the last Friday night before Christmas. Yeah. So we're gonna do that this weekend. I think it's gonna be a lot of fun. I just we try to surprise each other every now and again. So that's my surprise. He it's doesn't know day. where they're going. He just knows they're doing something. Yeah. So you can see it's gloomy and cloudy outside, but it's not raining, and that makes me very happy. When we get home, um, I real man, I already really showed you what we what we purchased today. I don't, the main thing was the dog you know, treats and stuff for their stockings. So I really don't have any goodies or haul to show. So I'm not gonna do that. And I showed you the coffee that I got already, which don't let me forget to give you that coffee mug before I get out of the car. Oh, yeah. I have no I idea. I will not be drinking wine out of that, by the way. <laughs> so put that into, like, I thought, oh, this would be neat because you got a handle and <laughs> I'm not gonna drink wine out of it though. I'm not, I'm not that crazy. <laughs> yes, she is. Well, I mean, you gotta have glasses. I'll, I'll let you know if I FaceTime her and she's drinking wine out of a coffee mug. <laughs> a double glass wall coffee yeah, mug. Double wall glass coffee mug. This is so dangerous. Go. Yeah, well, you parked on the railroad tracks. So that's well, you're not supposed to do that. Because I thought they were gonna go, but then they went down. But I think I'm gonna try to wrap a little bit today. Hopefully, my husband. I got all his stockings wrapped those don't have bows or anything else just real quick and I had to do that fast so he didn't see it one of them didn't fit in his stocking so I gave it to him early but I'm done with, with all of that yeah I've got Connor's Yeti I got him a new Yeti cup and um, it's it looks really nice but it's sitting on the front porch right now because it was delivered and I've been telling him don't come home for lunch don't come home for lunch because I don't want you to see what I got you so that's really going to be the only surprise surprise for Christmas. Yeah. I don't know what's in my stocking. My husband and I are only doing stockings this year. Did you tell him what you got him? No. I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to tell people what I got. Even when I wrap presents, I know I will wrap at least one present today with the camera going. But I, I don't want to have it out there before Christmas in case I mean in case he ends up watching it then he knows what he's getting for Christmas so and he's been known to do it so all right I will do why don't we say goodbye Emily what you say goodbye Bye. <laughs> <laughs> and it was just nice to spend some time together today without really having to do anything you know no decorating no yeah running errands just whatever we felt like yes. doing today and that Connor was nice goes, goes, what is your plan for to for tomorrow because he asked me yesterday I said I don't know and I don't want any. I no said, I, this, is, this is my one day to where I can just say, you know what? We're doing this. Yep, whenever Why? I want to. Because I want to. We didn't even plan it till we were on the phone this morning while we were both getting dressed. Going, okay, what do you want to do today? What time are you coming over? <laughs> yeah. So, let me show you real quick this book. She just got done reading it. She gave it to me so to read. good. It's by Lisa Unger. It's Under My Skin. So, I'm going to take this home with me and... When I get an, a moment, I will probably do some reading too. Because I like it so much, I'm keeping it and I'm putting it on my shelf. But I'm gonna let yeah. her read it. Let me read it first and give it back to her. It and she me introduced four. me to podcasts. Yes. So I really like listening to Ashley and Britt. They have a podcast. You can just show them the Crime Junkie podcast. Coming through. Yeah. Yeah. One well, thousand. So. Yeah, but it is. <sighs> It is amazing. It's based on true crimes that have happened in the last 50 years or so. Uh, they can date back farther than that. Oh, can they? Okay. Yeah. Well, the one we're talking, what we're, we were listening to today, started, uh, the crime started back in the 60s. Yep. 1960s. <laughs> now we're in a whole nother, we're in the 2000s now. So, yeah. in the 1960s, and it's uh, based in Canada on the Highway, Highway of Tears. Yes. And it's just, it's really good. And they actually, because Brit, and this is what I didn't tell you, Brit tends to, like, when something really spooky or something crazy happens in the podcast, she'll go full body chills. <laughs> and so they have made another podcast called Full Body Chills that they only put out episodes, like, during the Halloween time. And those are fictional, but they're kind of neat. And I think with that podcast, they allow their listeners to send in stories that they read, you know, and narrate and everything. Okay. 
so it's really neat. But well, I love true crime. I love watching documentaries on, you know, serial killers or not even just documentaries. There's a Mind Hunter. Oh my God, I love that show. I have not watched. That. Oh, it's so good, Mind Hunter. Does the guy have blonde hair? What am I thinking the, of? The, he's the, one of the detectives on Mindhunter. He has blonde hair. Okay. I can't remember and his he's name. he's really muscular, always wears no. a v-neck. No. What am I thinking of? I don't know. <laughs> well. But I like crime shows and, you know, crime, whether it's true crime or, you know, those that just always has enthralled me and made me want to watch. I always wondered why. You know, what, what made you do that? What made you think to do that? What, yeah. what kind of a person does it take? To take somebody else's life and sometimes the ways that they do it is brutal and unnecessary oh my god oh my <laughs> god okay so she's introduced me to podcasts today she got my phone set up and i'm gonna start with crime junkies yes and i've only heard half of one episode so we are about to pull into my neighborhood we're gonna let you go so we can unload our stuff go inside and get puppy kisses and then she's gonna head back to her house and i'll pick up the camera and do something I'm gonna drink a glass of wine and wrap the Yeti. I'll wrap the Yeti. I want to see you wrap a real Yeti. I don't want one of those in my house. <laughs> All right, I will check in with you a little bit, but Emily, say goodbye. Bye. Okay, whole new filming area. I am in my kitchen. I just got home. Emily just gave the puppy some loves and went on her way. And I got my very first boxy charm in. And of course, I can't wait till later. I've never had a boxy charm before. I've seen reviews and people opening theirs, and uh, finally decided that I wanted to try it too. I don't want to scratch the table. So let's see what this includes. Okay. Wow. All right, boxy charm whimsy. I have glasses. Thank you, God. So I'm, I'm assuming that everything that's on this card is in this box. This is a full size. This is the ritual, the ritual of Sakura. Celebrate it's a zen, zen, sensational foaming shower gel. Never heard of it. Here we go. Give your skin the gift of new beginning with the foaming shower gel from the Ritual of Secura, featuring the renewing scent of cherry blossom and organic rice milk. It uses a unique technology to transform the gel into a silky, soft cleansing foam. Lather up and luxury in the rich and fragrant foaming soap, taking a moment to slow down and renew your energy. MSRP is $9.50. I'm not going to... Oh, it is a nice, clean... Oh, I like that. Oh, it's gonna go in my shower immediately. All right, we have a Saturday skin. Waterfall Glacier Water Cream. An anti-aging glacier water cream that delivers mineral-rich moisture while protecting skin from free radicals. A fusion of ferments, amino acids, and plant extracts help calm skin, skin while boosting vitality and suppleness. MSRP is $39. A water, now the only water cream or whatever I've used is uh, Hydro, it was blue. I can't remember what it is. What a pretty bottle. Mm. It's got a little, it's the blue, I think it's Neutrogena is what, I've, what I'm talking about. This is for your face, right? Anti-aging, so yeah. MSRP is $39. Place moisturizer in the palm of your hand. Using all four fingers, apply in an outward circular motion, tapping the moisturizer into the skin. Nice. I, did, I don't know what to expect. I mean, so far, everything seems like it's full size. I don't know if that's the way it always works. We have a confetti something highlighter see okay Ciate London confetti highlighter achieve a sunless glow with Ciate London's confetti highlighter featuring a mix of shades that have been carefully pressed together for a radiant highlight in one sweep MSRP is $30 $32 
Oh my stars. That's gorgeous. I have, I think two highlighters and I'm not very good at using it. This almost looks like a bit of a bronzer. So maybe you use this by itself. What the heck? Ooh, it's kind of a, can you see that? I'm thinking that that's gonna take place of my bronzer too right now. That's really pretty. What's next? What's next? Too Faced, Too Faced Melted Metallic. Clearly this is for your lips. Is it faking it is the color. This is rich and dazzling lip gloss. It's the only Too Faced I'm seeing on here, so I'm wondering I'm not real big on mattes. Metallic, liquefied metallic matte. That is absolutely my color though. You know what, I'm gonna try it. Emily bought me a Too Faced liquid about a year and a half ago, maybe two years now, and it's I, the color is called Chihuahua. I remember that very, very clearly. I think that was by Too Faced, right? I'm not going to try this yet. This is rich and dazzling lip gloss, but this is sparkle and shine with each twinkling shade of this high shine gloss that brings dimensions to the lips with an innovative, cushiony, and comfortable texture enriched with natural oils. I think that this is not what this is. So maybe they ran out of the rich and dazzling lip gloss and put in a metallic. I've not tried this, so I will definitely give that a try. If it doesn't work for me, then I'm sure my daughter-in-law or somebody. Ah, uh, I've used this. This is the Fresh Soy Cleanser for all skin types. Where is this? This gel cleanser for all skin types has a cult following for the way it removes makeup, even mascara, and it does. Without drying for a soft, subtle skin, it's made with amino acid, rich soy proteins, calming cucumber extract, and balancing rose water. Sensitive skin, it also soothes and tones. And the box doesn't open, there we go. Retail value is $48, and that is um, the price I would pay, so in store. I like this stuff, and this will this will definitely get used in this household, for sure. I mean, I, I have a face wash that I'm almost out of. I've been using the, that blue and white one. I can't remember the name of it off the top of my head. It's been sitting on my kitchen, my bathroom sink now for six months. I've been using it up. If I can remember the name of it, I'll tell you. I have one in my shower. I have one in my bathtub. So I just kind of, I feel like doing it wherever I'm sitting. Holy smokes, y'all. This thing is full. Kat Von D Dagger Tattoo Liner. Kat Von D Dagger Cat Tattoo Liner. Experience effortless winged liner looks with the innovative eyeliner, especially engineered for easy application. On any eye shape, making Dagger Tattoo Liner ideal for making for all makeup junkies. Retail value is $20, and I'm assuming it's in the color black. Okay, so it's, I don't know if you're going to be able to see that. Probably not. It's kind of like a flat angled tip. Almost like a cal 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 calligraphy pen. There we go. A calligraphy pen. All right, there's still more in here. I'm gonna leave this big box for the last. I don't know what it is. All right, we have the I N N Beauty. In Beauty, yes. It is the dual face setting mist. Set, setting face mist. This energizing face mist is the pick me up you need to get through the day and night. Special by face formula instantly activates and transforms as you shake it. Really? Activates and transforms as you shake it. Get ready to power up. Formulated with our even autumn complex, which help, which helps even the look of redness, blotchiness, hyperpigmentation, dark spots, and dullness. Naturally colored and scented with energizing aroma, aromatic for, from plants. Aromatic from plants, I can't speak. Power up dual phase, setting face, power up, dual face. Oh, I, okay, I see that there's like a color change a little bit. I'm curious to use this. 
So the retail value of that is $32. That's pretty awesome. All right, QMS Meta Cosmetics Lip Line Corrector. Lip Line Corrector. Q, okay. Formulated exclusively for the upper lip area. Oh, I need help here. Lip Line Corrector targets fine lines and wrinkles. Heck yeah. This high performance lightweight serum is specifically designed to hydrate and plump lips for a smoother, youthful appearance. It says that the retail value of this is $200 and it's a half an ounce. Oh, how does it work? Okay, so you twist it. This is a $200 bottle. So this is gonna work like if you were to get injections in your lips, right? It's only got a six month shelf life, so I just opened it. Today is the 27th of December. I'm gonna put a little bit of this on. I know I have makeup on. That's a big bottle for just using it on your upper lip for sure. So now I'm gonna look like I just drank a glass of milk, aren't I? That's crazy. Okay, but it's not greasy. Come on, plumping. I just sat here and watched, you know, just filmed it and watched in slow motion. I wonder if you could see any plumping effect. I don't know, I'm gonna have to try this. I mean, I have makeup on right now, so. Wow, that's a $200 lip line corrector. That's like more expensive than getting a couple injections in your lip, which I've done in the past but it's been a long time. All right, and then this is the bubble wrap. So I have one thing left, and it's a box of some sort. It is Fairy Tales Storybook Cosmetics. Little Briar Rose, it's a palette. It sure is a palette. It's like a book. You can see like the pages here on the sides. It's a big book. I mean, this is not going to fit in my palette drawer. So it seems like a lot of, there goes the mirror, sorry. Mm, the colors are, a lot of them I would use. I'm not gonna swatch them right now because I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with this. But Briar Roll, good. Life itself is the most wonderful fairy tale. This Kiss is an interesting color right here. It's a very bright, I almost feel like these would be better. Oh, I'm seeing some plums and some, Mauves, some people call it mauve. That they are pretty colors. I'm gonna have to decide what I want to do with this one. This may end up being a gift. Let's see. It says Storybook Cosmetics Little Briar Rose Eyeshadow Storybook Palette is a magical palette featuring a custom hardcover storybook with a dozen highly pigmented matte, metallic, and pearl eyeshadows. The cruelty-free, long wear, buttery smooth shadow formula can be used wet or dry. Mix and match to concoct your favorite spellbinding look. And the MSRP on that is $55. I'm highly impressed by the items that I've gotten in this box. I think this will make a great gift. I don't need, I, I bet you I could pretty much get these colors out of the palettes that I already have. Maybe not this bright blue right here. I don't think that would look good on me anyway. I'm really intrigued by this kiss, this like, that's a really pretty color. So is the Talia. Maybe whoever I gift it to will let me try it. All right, Indigo, just a second. I'm, I'm really, I'm this stuff, I'm hoping it's magic in a bottle, this lip line corrector. This is gonna go in one of my areas that I wash face. I'm interested in this. I'm interested in all of this. This was a fun box to open. I have not done BoxyCharm before. So I may or may not get a, any package wrapped on video tonight. So if I don't, then I'll add that to tomorrow's video because I know I don't, I don't want this video to end up being, you know, an hour long. And this was Mother Daughter Day. So I will have the un, you know, advent calendar un, you know, un, openings tonight, but I may wait till tomorrow after the designer leaves to do any wrapping. So no, I'm just kind of doing whatever I feel like doing right now. That's how
how much Christmas wrapping I've gotten done today. Ooh, it's my guy. We have a fire going. The temperature dropped quickly. It is cold as actually we just found out it's snowing in Atlanta. That's crazy. I mean, snowing for Atlanta. So we're gonna do our advent calendars and we're gonna chill out for the evening. I did get a little bit of wrapping done. I did not film it. I jammed out to Pentatonic's Christmas, Straight No Chaser. If you haven't heard of Straight No Chaser, you should check them out. Their Christmas album is so much fun. And who was the last one? It's Pentatonic, Straight No Chaser, and there was another one I was listening to. Anyways, jamming out to that, I did not make any of the bows. I just wrapped them. I will work on bows tomorrow after the designer leaves. But before I lose my puppy's attention, let's take a look. Today is the 17th. Uh, small Town Titans. Small Town Titans, thank you. I knew there was another one. Okay. All right, here's the 17 right here. Who wants a cookie? Who wants a Christmas cookie? Woo! Good babies. All right. I don't know what they're going to do when these come to an end. I mean, we're getting close now. They're going to be like, well, Mom, where's the boxes? And let's see what Mama got today. I saw it yesterday. Remember I said, remind me where it's at? Yep, right here. All right, oh, I forgot to read. In 2018, oh, that's another language. As of 2018, Rwanda has the highest representation of women in parliament at 63.8%. Wow. All right, oh, it's gonna be another mask. We have the vitamin shop, I mean the body shop, vitamin C glow mask. Very nice. I might gift a few of these. I've got quite a few masks now and it's been a minute since I've done one. So I might gift a few of these out. But as you can see, we have... so as you can see, we've got a fire going. It is cold enough outside to have a fire tonight. So Adam lovingly made me one. The doorbell just rang. The dogs are going nuts in the background. So I'm going to have to go see who that is tomorrow. I will try to film in the morning, but I think it's going to have to be after the designer leaves. So, but then I think I'm going to get some bows made tomorrow. I got quite a few presents. Adam helped me wrapped, but tomorrow I got to make them pretty. I hope you guys had a very happy day and I hope you have a very happy evening and hit the thumbs up if you like this kind of video. I probably will not continue doing them. Oh, I know I won't continue doing them every day after Christmas, but if you do like this vlog style, I can throw them in from time to time. So have a great night and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.